Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise. I'm standing with a 2021 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring, and I wanna cover the standard big screen 10.25 infotainment system and cover all those little components and features, and uh, including Apple CarPlay. So let's jump in. All right, let's get this started on the new infotainment system now. You'll notice it was a very quick start because I have uh, just turned it off. So it didn't go to the disclaimer screen or anything like that, it just booted right up. And so if I was in any of these options, it would have booted up to there. Um, and I guess that's you know probably within about five or 10 minutes, it boots up to this screen. So since we're on communication, let's uh, go ahead and, and do that. And it's saying, hey, let's pair a phone. So I've got my phone here. Let's go to Bluetooth. We're gonna hit connect. Continue. And I see Mazda down there. I see Mazda down here at the bottom. Pairing that up now. There we are. All right, now well, let's see. There's the passcode. And I am connected on the phone and there we are. I'm not going to enable emergency assist. Well, it's showing connected on my phone. Hmm. Oh, there I am. So it just uh, had to wake up a little bit. So relatively quick, not as quick as I'd like it to be. But uh, so we have this option here and we can click on the phone, uh, phone and audio. Let's click on that. So we're connected to phone and audio so I can stream and we're ready to go. So let's just jump back to the home screen and now we'll go to entertainment. Since I'm paired up, we're on Sirius XM, which is standard with the Grand Touring. Go to source list, scroll down, and there's Bluetooth and my iPhone. So ready to go there. Of course, you can also set up Pandora and then FM, AM, Sirius. And you have, of course, the option of the USB uh, or, as we'll talk about in just a minute, Apple CarPlay. So let's go back to home. That was entertainment. Let's go to information. Of course, you have a fuel efficiency monitor. Also, you see down here shows the battery and signal of my phone. And I apologize, this is a little bit blurry. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. So fuel efficiency, I've been sitting here. And we'll go to the energy flow you see the cylinder deactivation status right now all four are going go to settings you can reset that which we don't really have much to um, go over so I'm just going to click back here there's that cylinder deactivation haven't quite been in here five minutes yet so uh, don't have anything See right now that we're at 10.2, we're just sitting here burning fuel, uh, current miles per gallon. Let's go to the, back to the home. And we will go down to navigation. Actually, hold on, let's go back to information and look at the travel link. And we can do weather forecast, pulling up Dothan, which is pretty close. 73 degrees right now, nearest city. You can scroll through here and change your different states. Or the radar. Oh, 
don't have navigation in there. First uh, requirement. And status monitor. This is for service, so we can change all of our uh, maintenance items here. Let's go back to home, down to, well, we know what this is gonna be. We're not standard with navigation. I'm working on a uh, uh, getting a nav card so we can go over this in the CX-5. Right now, we just have latitude, longitude, and compass, and altitude, of course. So let's go back here, go down to settings, in vehicle displays covers uh, the active driving display, which this one has on the GT premium package. So you can change the position of this. You can change the tilt. You can change the content and the brightness. Also the center display, which is the one we're in now. You can do day night mode, automatic, brightness, contrast, uh, show drive results when you turn it off. Home screen, clock, digital or analog. Sound settings, this is for the Bose system. So you can, uh, vehicle notification and warning volume, you can turn that down. You can change the uh, base. Let's put it back on zeroed out there. And here's the center point. You can turn off an audio pilot for Bose. Safety settings. So safety alerts and active. So this would be like your lane departure warning blind spot warning, you can change those different types. So we're gonna do a steering wheel vibration here or audible on the lane departure warning, distance recognition system on or off, active safety. So this is your lane keep assist, turn it on or off. And collision avoidance, this is automatically on, but you can change your alert timing to early or late. You can see the picture changing there for that distance. We'll just leave it on normal. Smart brake support system is also what Mazda calls that. Then you have other vehicle settings, such as doors, which ones open with your, uh, smart, with your uh, advanced keyless entry, uh, exterior lighting, interior lighting, rain sensing wipers, turn signals. So several things you can change there. Connectivity settings, this is just where we were on connectivity. So you have uh, Bluetooth, smartphone settings, and Wi-Fi settings, which of course with your connected services, you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot and activate that. So that's pretty cool and test that out. And system settings are just the clock language. Uh, if you want to change, since you have a digital speedometer here, which is an analog look, but in that center, you can change it real easily to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And you can update the, use the Grace Note database album art, and you can turn the connected services off so you couldn't start the car. Um, this is a good troubleshooting situation for those of you that have updated and, and can't get the app to work and different software updates. So where I spend most of my time is in the entertainment area. So right now you see that we are on Sirius. If I wanna change this station, I'm pushing down on the menu. Then I'm going over to uh, channel list is one that I use. Of course you can add favorites too, but channel list will list all of them and you can scroll down and then push down on one. Of course we're going here, I've got the volume down cause I don't own the rights to this music. I'm gonna push down again and say, hey, I want to uh, look at these tuner controls. So I can scroll over here and go back to the song or forward on the song. I can pause the song or this one right here, I can scan and go through the different stations here. And I can click this and go automatically to the next serious station. So let's go back to the Beatles channel and I can go back since I had the, um, was here before with the song, I can rewind this or pause it, play it. It's pretty neat on that system. Let's go back over here. 
hit back one more time, hit menu, and let's change it to FM. FM's a little bit different, hit the menu again. We have favorites, we have a station list, same kind of thing, scroll down, go over that information. Tuner controls, same kind of stuff, but this would be seek, not uh, skipping stations. And then you have scan button right here up top. And if we go back, you have manual tuning, which is the one I use the most, which you just spin the wheel and go where you wanna go. And then let's go over to right there. And so when you're here, uh, you can view the RDS information, but no album art. Of course, the album art would come with uh, any type of MP3 support or on the Sirius uh, channels. And then, of course, you can jump right into the audio settings, FM settings. You can change some of those things. Radio text, you can turn on or off. So several different options there. Your source list, when going to the iPhone, it pulls up. Well, I guess on this phone, this was the last... Uh, the last song I was playing. Let's turn that down since I don't own the rights to that music. And um, you can go to different folders and things like that and Bluetooth settings. So this is the audio section, old blue eyes. And the last thing I wanna cover is the Apple CarPlay. So I've got this plugged into USB again in the center console, it does not matter which uh, USB port you use. So I'm going to plug in lightning cable and you see that, hey, do we want to enable CarPlay? Yes, we do, always enable. And in just a minute here, here we are. So here's the new CarPlay and it's gonna give me a pop-up bubble on my phone to allow while the phone is locked, and that's yes, so you can lock the phone, or if it automatically times out, you can uh, still be using CarPlay. And then the same thing here, you have the dashboard, you have the commander through the different screens, and uh, let's go to Google Maps. When we load Google Maps here, adding a destination, then when we hit back, we can toggle over or hit toggle over to change screens or hit the home screen and it'll go to this dashboard when you're at the first screen. So you can see that we've got Google Maps plugged in. So this is the navigation that we can use. Uh, or if you would rather, you can just bump over here or hit home again. And we want to use Apple Maps so I can bump over or spin the wheel. Now I'd rather use Apple Maps Okay, well, we'll get our setup going. And then it says that my work is close by. Then we'll bump again, home button to, and we've got Apple Maps set up here. So we can have our uh, show our recent destinations or save destinations and uh, the audio that we're listening to. So we have a couple of options there that uh, is very streamlined look and very uh, convenient if you have your phone connected without having to uh, just go through the streaming audio. So, I think that's about everything. Here's a look at the CarPlay again. And if I'm in CarPlay, I wanna go back to the main. Here is that. And if I want to go to FM and listen to FM. All right, I do not own the rights to this music. But I wanted to show you that when I go to source, oops, slip there. When I go to source list, I can scroll down here to CarPlay. And then if I, right now we've got that music playing. Let's kill that app. So I killed it on my phone so we don't have the music playing. Let's go back to Mazda. Okay, I don't own the rights to that music. And so here's the home screen. I can just bump to the right and there I'm at CarPlay. And if I turn my volume up, so here I am on CarPlay, but the radio is playing and I can go over to the dashboard. 
again, still have the radio playing. So that was one question that you guys had to be in CarPlay and have the radio playing. You just have to basically uh, mute the uh, sound of the, or the app, not have the music playing in the background. Now also for the, uh, the guidance in one of these navigation uh, apps, you have to have that volume turned up. So let's just uh, go into Google Maps real quick and uh, to test this out. Here we are. And I'm going to hit the uh, talk button over here, which defaults to Siri. Hold on a second. Let me scroll over here for Google. And let's say, direct me to McDonald's. And so understand here, you hear the dings, you hear the beeps, but you do not hear the directions. So let's see if we can hit start. All right, so you see when I turn it down, it does not play the directions. So you have to have this volume up to play those directions. Now let's try it with Siri. And I'm hitting the talk button on the steering wheel, which defaults to Siri. Direct me to Chick-fil-A. One option is Chick-fil-A on Gold Weevil Circle. So when you're in CarPlay, you have a different volume for Siri. Okay, so now here's the music. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Let's go over this top option here. Okay, let's hit go. Starting route to Chick-fil-A. So with her, with Siri's own volume, you see that navigation, how it changes? Siri will control itself even though you turn the music down. So that's one thing to keep in mind with the difference between the Apple native apps and your third party apps, AKA Google Maps. Okay, I think that's everything to cover right now. I am Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise. This is a 2021 Mazda CX-5, big new screen. Resolution is pretty great. I hope you can see that, especially on this CarPlay. And I know that you guys uh, did have a question on some resolution on the backup camera. So let me just click back here. There it is. So although it's dark outside and there's, well, there's grass behind me. Let me pull forward a little bit. I'm kind of like in between a couple of parking spaces here. All right, so you can see the lines there and uh, still a little, little noisy up top here with that wide angle, but right here it's pretty clear and uh, a lot better than the previous generation. So I am Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda. As I said, drop all your comments below or you can call or text me at 334-718-0504. I am Jonathan Soul Sales. I'm gonna just keep repeating that. I'm Jonathan Soul Sales and you know where Chick-fil-A is in relation to the dealership if you're hungry but I really uh, can't wait to see you in one of these awesome vehicles and more videos to come as soon as I get the nav cards figured out. I'll see you on the next one.